Stamped concrete is one of the best ways to achieve the look of natural stone, brick or even wood without the high cost. But really makes stamped concrete pop, the coloring process. Today we're going to break down the different ways stamped concrete gets color, from integral color to color hardeners and finally how release agents work to create those realistic textures. First up, integral color. This is a method where the color is mixed directly into the concrete before it's poured. The benefits? The color runs all the way through the slab. So even the surface chips off, you won't see a gray patch underneath. It's an integral color. Integral color comes in liquid or powder form and also pellets and is added to the concrete mix at the batching plant or on site. It creates a consistent, uniform color throughout the slab. However, it's often a more muted, subtle tone compared to surface applied methods. If you're looking for richer colors, you may want to combine it with other techniques. Next, we have color hardeners. These are optional, but can be a great way to achieve a more vibrant color while also making the surface more durable. Color hardeners can increase the concrete by up to five times stronger. Color hardeners are powdered pigments that are hand broadcasted onto freshly poured concrete. The moisture from the concrete pulls in the pigment and then it's worked into the surface using a magnesium or trowel. This method not only provides a richer, more intense color than integral color, but also increases the surface strength, making it more resistant to wear and tear. Now, let's talk about release agents. These are critical for getting the realistic, multi-tone look in stamped concrete. They come in two main types, clear liquid release and color powdered release. Clear liquid release is sprayed onto the concrete before stamping. It acts as a barrier, preventing the stamping mats from sticking to the fresh concrete. This method is ideal when you want a clean, uniform color with minimal antiquing effects. Then we have powder release agents. These are dusted onto the surface before stamping. They serve the same purpose, preventing the stamps from sticking, but they also add an antiquing effect by settling into the textured areas, creating depth and contrast. Powdered release agents will leave a more rich, natural color texture than a liquid release agent that gets colored after or left as is. Powder release agents come in different colors, usually darker than the base color, giving the stamp surface a more natural weathered look. Once the concrete cures, the excess release is washed off, leaving behind beautiful color variations. So whether you're going for a subtle, all the way through color with integral color, a bold and durable finish with color hardeners, or a multi-tone natural look using release agents, Stamp Concrete offers endless possibilities. In northern climates, it's important to use color hardeners for stamp concrete, especially if they're gonna get any salt or freeze thaw. One major advantage of color hardeners is the strength alone. Since they create a denser surface, 
They help, protect, they help protect against moisture penetration and freeze-thaw damage. The downside is if they get deeply scratched or chipped, the underlying concrete may show through. That's why some contractors use Integro Color and Color Hardeners together. Often we see issues with stamped concrete because color hardeners maybe aren't used or the wrong type of concrete isn't used or the surface isn't sealed. Um, but I can tell you from experience that when stamped concrete is done right, it can last a very long time in any climate. Just to recap, Stamp concrete coloring involves a combination of techniques to achieve a durable and visual appealing finish. Integral color is mixed directly into the concrete, providing a consistent color throughout the slab. For a more vibrant and durable finish, color hardeners are applied to the top layer, increasing strength and enhancing color intensity. Release agents play a crucial role in stamping preventing stamps from sticking while adding depth. Clear release agents are maintaining a uniform color while powder release agents create a natural multi-tone effect. Each method serves a unique purpose and combining them can yield the best results. Integral color ensures longevity, color hardeners enhance the strength and vibrancy, and powder release agents add a realistic depth of color. By understanding how these techniques Thinking work together, about stamped concrete, you can create here's stunning what it stamped actually concrete costs in Ontario. that stands the test of time. Stamped concrete Whether you're a homeowner or a contractor, choosing the right approach will elevate the final look of your project. Here's some examples of what stamped concrete looks like with different variations, textures, and finishes. Roman slate finish, different patterns, Pennsylvania slate with a color hardener border, exposed aggregate with a stamped border, seamless liquid release. Stamped concrete is an art and getting the color just right is key to achieving a beautiful realistic finish i hope this video helps you break down the process if you found this useful hit the hit the like button subscribe for more concrete tips and let me know in the comments what's your go-to method for coloring stamp concrete thank you for watching and i'll see you next time